people of God. We church people should not be concerned with how many members are in church, but how many have been saved. Here is Mr. Any, pretending to be a Christian, but is a wolf in sheep's clothing. What is his mission here among the people of God? Can darkness be in the midst of light? No! Capital no! Look at Mr. Any praying. Who is he praying to? There is prayer, and there are prayers. There is fasting, and there are fastings. Where there is no Spirit of God, he would likely pretend to be among, and carry out evil. This is why the Bible states clearly that we should watch and pray. See how the wheat was separated from the chaff. Wise man Daniel, moving under the check and conduct of the Holy Spirit, encounters Mr. Any wearing a fine white native and spectacles. Immediately the spectacles are removed. Wise man Daniel continues with the deliverance in the power of the Holy Spirit. Mr. Any's reaction shows early signs of demonic activity. Mr. Any tries to deceive and mislead the wise man, giving gestures that he is okay. But wise man Daniel is not convinced by Mr. Any's deception and never gives up praying for him in Jesus' name. This time the deliverance has gone to another level, gradually exposing the man's real spiritual nature. Wise man Daniel offers spirit-filled prayer in order to uproot every power of darkness in Mr. Any's life. Friend, the mighty Lord Jesus! Friend, the mighty Lord Jesus! Friend, the mighty Lord Jesus! Friend, friend, on the wood! Friend, friend, on the back! Fire! Fire the mighty Lord Jesus all over your body right now. Fire your clothes. Fire! From your head to your toe. Fire the mighty Lord Jesus. 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 Fire
the child of God was created to be master over every power of darkness in the world, whether it manifested itself in the form of creatures that move in the air, on the ground, or in the sea. He was created to be master over them. One of the demons possessing the man poses in its diabolic posture and looks around for where it can attack. Wise man Daniel commands the man in the name of Jesus Christ to go down the stairs. and is eventually brought to his knees. The demons inside the man is in complete disarray, realizing that his powers are no match for the name Jesus Christ. He begins to look for a way of escape and peeks down the stairwell to try and flee from the wise man, a sign of defeat. In desperation, he reaches out his hand down the gap, but there is no chance. Wise man Daniel swiftly puts the man back in its place. We cannot blind the boy. If you do, you cannot win. Then I, the queen, will win. If you do, who cannot win? I, the queen, will win. I will blind you. You'll do what? You'll do what? I will blind you. You'll do what? I will blind you. The wicked and demonic nature of the man continues to be uprooted as he slithers on the ground before launching saliva at the cameraman and others gathered at the scene. He then straightens and manifests into another demon. Nothing seems to be working and he makes yet another attempt to run away from the wise man, this time launching up and over the wall and onto the gallery. Hold back here. Hold back. But wise man Daniel commands the man to come back. The man under the influence of evil spirits slithers on the ground in complete confusion looking around the auditorium. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Whoever follows him will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The man yet again emits out of his mouth poisonous saliva. And it scatters all over the ground. Stand up. At the mention of the name Jesus Christ, every demon shall bow. The man moves off the ground. The deliverance arena has been cleared and wise man Daniel leads the way out for this spiritual combat to be fought in the main auditorium. All systems are go and the battle begins. You say you are who? Speak! In the mighty name of Jesus. What have you done to him? Come back here! What have you done to him? Come here! Come here! Hey! Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! What have you done to him? Speak! Who are you? I am Idigo. Huh? I am Idigo. What have you done to him? Look here. Who do you want to? Is it me, the Digo, or who? The Queen? Huh? I'm the Queen. You are who? I'm the Queen. The Queen? I'm the Digo. Okay, how, what have you done to him? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. How do you tell him? Huh? The queen can never speak. How did you enter this body? But did you want to speak? Okay, speak. How did you enter this body? It was because of me he came out. How long have you been inside him? And how did you enter him? How long? How long have I been in him? Yes. How long have I been in him? Yes. They begged me for him to come out. How? Ask Martin Eboka. Uh -huh. What happened? He stops me. I'm from Delta State. Uh -huh. Who are you there? I am Idigo. What's, what do you mean by Idigo? What do you, I mean by Idigo? Yes. 
What do I mean by Idigo? Yes. What do you mean by the wise man? What is your name, please? Yes, Idigo. 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 All over your body. Fire! All over your body. Fire! All over your body. Fire! Out! Out! Fire! Out! 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 Come out! 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 In Jesus' name. The demons Itagun and Queen possessing Mr. Any continue to manifest in and out, taking turns at challenging wise man Daniel, but all in vain. They devise their demonic tactics and try to execute their attacks, but all proved ineffective. The all-consuming fire of the Holy Ghost is too much, and Mr. Any finds himself yet again on the floor found wanting after a superior beating and falls flat on his face. After some time, he gets up and looks around the auditorium perplexed and moves off the ground drained after much energy spent and finds a seat. Time has run out in the Sunday service and all other deliverances have been moved over to the Monday life service at the synagogue church of all nations. Mr. Any arrested in the power of the Holy Ghost will have to wait for the Monday live service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations for his final and complete deliverance. Mr. Eni is given a few bottles of water to consume after expending much energy throughout his manifestation. And watch very carefully. Mr. Eni consumes the water in a bizarre manner, drinking from the bottom end of the bottle. The man was given a new set of clothes to wear because the man completely destroyed his clothes during the manifestation and deliverance. He makes his way to the bathroom to refresh himself and put on a new set of clothes given to him. Before Dawn Mr. Eni left the church premises where he had stayed the night. He headed to the police station to report that T.B. Joshua should be arrested. The police recognized Mr. Eni immediately from Emmanuel TV when he was undergoing deliverance and rejected his request. Annoyed, Mr. Eni went to reinforce his diabolical power. Equipped, he came back to the church with a black plastic bag. Upon getting to the gate, he was stopped by security who wouldn't allow him to enter without showing them the contents of his bag. To their greatest surprise, they discovered a live chicken. Let's watch to find out what happened next. Here is Mr. Eni returning to the Synagogue Church of All Nations Auditorium after escaping the church grounds during the night. He brought back with him a plastic bag containing all kinds of diabolic items and materials. The security would not allow him to enter without showing them the contents. He takes a live chicken out of the bag and hides it under his arm. Where did Mr. Eni go during the night? And what is the live chicken for? Let's find out. I went to report to the station. Police, they, they say they cannot arrest TV Joshua. For what? Is there anybody above the law? Bring the nylon, bring the nylon. He then brings out of a plastic bag a live chicken and rips off its head with his mouth before spreading the blood all over his head and tossing it on the ground. Blood gushes out of the chicken as it continues moving around without its head. What could be going through his mind? I don't know, but for someone to bite off a live chicken's head off like that, something's not right. Yeah, that's not normal. Let's see who this man really is. How are you? Where have you been? I've been looking for you since yesterday. Where did you go? I uh, have been turning me around. So I went to report to the station. Okay. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the 
Just outside the Synagogue Church of Old Nations Auditorium, wise man Daniel ministers prayer in the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name, and the final battle is underway. Immediately, Mr. Eni begins to feel the fire of the Holy Ghost burning him, and he jumps out of his seat and walks over to where he kept a plastic bag filled with demonic items. He reaches into the plastic bag and brings out the chicken he sacrificed earlier and spreads the blood over his head. Mr. Eni implements a diabolic method to gain more evil power to challenge the wise man. The name Jesus Christ is more powerful than all the combined forces of hell and earth. Wise man Daniel, not phased by his diabolic method, continues fervently praying in the power of the Holy Spirit and sends the evil spirit in the man jolting in circles and climbing up the wall. Mr. Eni makes an effort to charge himself up, bouncing and dancing and even hopping up and down the wall to employ another demonic power boost. But wise man Daniel is quick to disable it in the name of Jesus Christ. Down, come down. Come down, Jesus, more than you. Come down, come down, come down. All over your body. Mr. Eni is frustrated, wondering why the sacrificed chicken blood is not working. He sprints over to the sacrificed fowl to apply more of its blood over his head in order to enhance and maximize his demonic power in the spirit realm. Mr. Eni, demonically empowered, moves over to challenge the wise man once again and begins to attack. It fails miserably, and he finds himself mesmerized and disappointed. Wise man Daniel counteracts, using his foot as a point of contact for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Wise man Daniel continues commanding the fire of the Holy Ghost over Mr. Eni, and the demons possessing him begin to burn in an inferno of heat. The heat is unbearable for Mr. Eni, as he carries on fidgeting, twitching, and moving about restlessly. Another demon is exposed in Mr. Eni, as wise man Daniel continues praying without ceasing. You Python, move! 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 You Python, move! Wait. The spirit of Python is uprooted and begins slithering and rolling on the floor and then manifests and springs up from the ground into another demon. You can see the way he has fixed himself into a sitting position with his two hands molded together. Yet again, another demon manifests in Mr. Eni and parades about. Wise man Daniel continues casting fire on him in Jesus' name. The victory is closing in as Mr. Eni lays flat on the floor, slithering like a python on its back. The battle between the stone and the water. In time, the water wins. Let's watch intently what happens next. I'll talk. Okay. I'll talk. I'll talk. You do. Who are you? I'm a dude. I'm a dude. What have you done to him? The senior brother to the father. Huh? When the mother was pregnant, huh? they came to me. Huh? The woman could not deliver. Huh? She was at a dying spot. Huh? Martin Ebok huh? begged me, pleaded. Huh? Begged, pleaded, uh -huh. and I agree with his begged. Uh -huh. He gave him my water, uh -huh. and immediately uh -huh. after he gave the mother of this boy, uh -huh. he gave birth to this boy and gave it into my hand. What have you been doing in the life of this boy? <laughs> I will talk. Speak. I will talk. What have you been doing to the boy? could not maintain the order anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's okay. Uh -huh. Let me walk into this boy. Okay. Mm. I have been protecting him. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. I have been protecting him. Uh -huh. No danger will harm him. Uh -huh. mm. But he's mine. Uh -huh. mm. uh, it's what? He's mine. It's yours? Yes. It's mine. Since you've been living inside him, what have you done to the family as an oracle? Mm. Huh? 
my lawyer was the queen. He came also to drag the body with me. But later I agreed. But before then, the father suffered. There is no sickness that this boy did not seek. I will talk. How many of you are living inside him? How many of you? Yeah. Huh? We are two. Okay, mention. You did good, the oracle. Uh -huh. Who? And the queen of all queens. And the queen of all queens. Okay. The queen of where? The queen of all queens, the queen of the coast. Okay. Uh, Bom mam I will talk. I talk. If I leave this boy alone, where will I go? Huh? If I leave him alone, where will I go? No. 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 I did you go. Go for who? No. I'm the Digu. I am the Digu. <sighs> Why will I live him? Since 27 years and he was born into my hand. What do you mean? Tell me. He's my son. I brought him to this world. This is my world. He don't have money now. Well, he has money. He's a big boy. I'm a big boy. No, I won't. Martin of Jesus Christ out of this body. Out of the Martin of Jesus Christ. I brought him to this world. No one can touch him. No one can handle him and no one can stand him. Yes, it's me. He gets what he wants. Out of the Martin of Jesus. The oracle Idagun that possessed Mr. Eni for 27 years began to talk, confessing that the father gave the mother and the boy to him. Later, the oracle Igadun entered into the boy, along with another demon, the queen of the coast. Urine pours out of Mr. Eni as the fire of the Holy Ghost continues to torture the demons, signaling that the deliverance is almost complete. You think you can do away with the oracle? The Oracle Idagun is out, and there is urine all over the floor. Holy God, fire the, mighty Lord Jesus. the Oracle Idagun that had possessed Mr. Eni for 27 years is out, and the Queen speaks out of Mr. Eni saying, It is only the Queen remaining. The Queen of the Coast is now in complete control of Mr. Eni, and parades about in its final attempt to take on the wise man. The queen prances around the wise man, but is suddenly stopped. Mr. Eni stretches out his hand to attack, but is unable to, and continues again parading around the wise man. The queen attempted a demonic attack, but it fails miserably. Find the mighty one, Jesus! 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 Hold it for your body. Anybody pass with me? Fire! And is now tamed on the ground. The demon continues manifesting, moving its tongue like a snake, and once again slithers on the ground. It lays on its back, exhausted from the battle. Come out! I'll get him! Come out! I'll get him! Go! Go! I'll get him! Go! Go! The queen of the coast that still remains inside Mr. Eni is on its final legs. Mr. Eni rolls and struggles desperately around on the ground, 
and attempts a final attack, but it doesn't work and has now run out of options as it lays defeated on the ground. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this deliverance. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this deliverance. In Jesus' mighty name, you are declared free and declared free. Thank you, Lord. Stand up. Stand up, you are free. What happened to you? My friend, come. 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 Don't worry, come. You're my friend, come. Don't worry, you're free, eh? Don't worry. I'm okay. You're free. How are you? I'm fine. Why are you, are you like Off this? I'm I'm ashamed now. Huh? Look at me. I'm dirty. I'm huh? dirty. I'm dirty. You are what? I'm dirty. You are dirty? Yeah. Okay, you don't know what happened Why to you? People surrounding me. Huh? People are surrounding me. I'm ashamed. Okay, you don't know them? No, I don't know them. But you came to church here? My eyes is turning me. My eyes turning you. Okay, you need some rest? What happened to you? Hmm? What happened to you? I'm weak. Huh? I'm weak. Okay, you don't know what happened to you? I'm weak, I'm weak, I'm weak. Do you know what happened to you? I don't, nothing is in me. Huh? No intestine, no food, nothing. Everything is out. I'm weak. You are weak? I'm weak. Come, let me show you something. Okay, who brought these things? Hmm? Who brought this? Brought this fowl? Yeah. Who brought it? I don't know. Eh? I don't know. You're not the one that brought it? Me? No. Eh? No. No. I'm not the one. You're not the one that brought it? I don't know anything about foul, please. Eh? I don't know anything about foul. You don't know anything about it? No, I don't know anything about foul. But you're the one that brought this? No. You use your mouth to cut the head. Life foul. No. Are you laying an allegation on me? No. You're not the one that use your mouth to no. cut? No. No. I do not do anything like that. It's funny now. Yeah, you are delivered. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm delivered. I'm, I'm not heavy again. I'm, I'm light. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I'm free. After the deliverance, the chicken Mr. Any's sacrifice to gain diabolical power was burnt. Watch what happened during the burning of the chicken. Mr. Any appears from out of the bush where he had left the black plastic bag that contained the chicken that he formerly sacrificed to enhance and maximize his diabolical powers when he was under the influence and control of demonic spirits. Mr. Eni then pours kerosene all over the dead chicken and then draws out a match, lights it quickly and then tosses it on the kerosene. Immediately the sacrificed chicken caught on fire and burst into flames. Something unusual happens and Mr. Any somersaults away from the bonfire and lays stagnant on the ground. What could have forced Mr. Any to have somersaulted like that onto the ground? Mr. Any slowly gets up from the ground and looks around. He appears to be in a state of shock. Is Mr. Any okay? Or has something happened? The sacrifice chicken continues to roast in flames. And Mr. Any stares intensely into the fire. In a deep state of sober reflection. The evangelist wakes Mr. Any up from his deep concentration. And lightly asks Mr. Any about his condition. Another evangelist notices Mr. Eni's unusual behavior. <laughs> Mr. Eni tries to signal with his hands that he has become deaf and dumb. Uh, Mr. Eni, we saw that the moment you burned the chicken you were using before as a sacrifice, you began to roll all over the ground. What happens? Fell down. What, you fell down, what happened? The interview confirms that a deaf and dumb spirit has entered Mr. Eni and he is now unable to hear or speak. 
So you cannot hear at all what I'm saying. You cannot hear me. So it's very clear, our brother cannot hear or talk right now after burning the chicken he had been using before in sacrifice. But we thank God Almighty that God Almighty is in complete control of the situation. His voice, his hearing will be restored so that he'll be able to expose to the world exactly how he has been using these evil powers and these demonic spirits. So viewers around the world, stay with us. We are going to hear from him and hear his confession very shortly after God Almighty sets him free from this spirit that has caused him right now not to be able to speak or talk or listen. Mr. Eni is then taken to meet with wise man Daniel for healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. Let's watch what happens. How are you? Your voice, how are you? Speak out in the mighty name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. How are you? Jesus wants to hear your voice. How are you? How are you? Speak. You can hear me. I want to hear you. Speak. How are you? 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 Hey! Hey! You deaf and dumb spirit, I declare you out. Out! 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 The mighty name of Jesus. You deaf and dumb spirit. Out! The mighty name of Jesus. Out! Out! Leave this body. Leave this body! The mighty name of Jesus. You deaf and dumb spirit. Out! You deaf and dumb spirit. Out! The mighty name of Jesus. Jesus wants you out. Come out! You deaf and dumb spirit. Come out! Come out, you deaf and dumb spirit. Come out, you deaf and dumb spirit. Wise man Daniel commands the deaf and dumb spirit that entered Mr. Any when he set the sacrifice chicken on fire. You can see the evil spirit manifesting in Mr. Any's body as he repeatedly spins in circles on the floor. The deaf and dumb spirit struggles to stay connected to Mr. Eni, as the fire of the Holy Ghost continues to descend upon it. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Stand up as the evil spirit finally loses its grip upon Mr. Eni. Let's see Mr. Eni's condition now after the prayer in the power of the Holy Ghost. Wise man Daniel uncovers the plastic from the anointing water and prepares to minister it to Mr. Eni for healing in Jesus' name. Stand and sit upright. Stand up and sit upright. To God be the glory. Mr. Eni is set free and commanded to rise to his feet. How are you? I'm fine, sir. What's your name? My name is Eni Eboka. You're fine? Yes, sir. Thank Jesus. God bless you. What happened to you that you're not able to talk? What? I cannot talk. It's just that. 
it just something came and uh, hooked me on the neck over just I, sw I swallowed I see a smoke swallowed by a bunch of smoke just just like see if I swallow over a swallow bunch of smoke and, and that, that was why you could not talk no I did not hear you okay, you could not hear me but I'm hearing you now you're hearing me now yes sir. And you can talk now yes sir. But before now no I cannot speak before but okay. I'm where, where did you see the smoke the research uh, uh pour fuel on that thing that uh, that is the foul and all those things. And after I pour the fuel finish, they gave me matches. As I just light it immediately, the fire just catch. As it just catch, I just swallow a bunch of smoke. And after that time, what happened to you? I fell down, was not my sense, but I was, it, the smoke was. It was hurting me in my, you know, inside your chest. me. Your so chest? In my chest, mm -hmm. my yeah. ear, mm -hmm. my hand, see if I see the, see if I hit it on something and uh, it want to stiff. But now, how are you feeling now? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am here. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here. I can talk now. I can hear you now. I can hear anything you want to say now. I can, I can hear you. I can, I, I, I can speak fine now. After watching the clips of how he received his deliverance from the satanic kingdom and demonic activity he had been involved in for so many years, Mr. Eni is overwhelmed by emotion and his eyes are filled with tears, a sign of remorse for the life he once lived. Let's listen as he shares how Jesus Christ took him out of the satanic kingdom of darkness and into the kingdom of light. Emmanuel. King of King, the Lord of Lords, I bow down before you. <laughs> My name is Enie Boka. I'm from Delta State. Here is my dad. Here is a senior brother to my dad. Here is my stepmom. Here is my sister. Here's my cousin brother. Here's my younger sisters. After my deliverance, I begin to pray, study the word of God. Seriously, morning and night. And the word of God let me to know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. I come to realize With what is doing now, also show that uh, really, Satan is a liar. God has a great promise in the life of this boy. A great promise in the life of him. He's crying because he, never, he can't imagine what he has done. Okay, let's listen. First Peter 5, verse 8 says, Be self control and the alert for the devil rose as a roaring lion looking for whom to devour i will disgrace the kingdom of darkness yes. after my deliverance gets to realize the definition of satan Satan can be defined as your mistake. God wants the best for you, while the devil goes for the best. Have it in mind that Satan does not miss an opportunity. Have it in mind also that your temptation comes from the most precious thing you love, so do not so love anything on earth, I will take it so precious. Do not start a journey that you cannot end. Otherwise, that journey will end you. Double mind kills. 
Problems are good to be shared with those who have solution, not with those who will look for solution. Rich or poor, sleep like a visitor to live long. The poor speak like a rich man. For any word that comes out of your mouth is a secret of whom you are already. Why the rich speak like a poor man? Because any rich man that speaks according to his richness is a naked man. For the word of a rich man stands as a key to his door. But when a rich man speaks like a rich man, he has dug his six feet. Be proud of your unfavorable condition because your unfavorable condition is your weak point. When I was a little boy, my uncle, the senior brother to my dad, he told me that, that when my mom was pregnant, that my dad told my mom to come down to his house at Enugu State. That's called Unsoka. Because it's a first experience of my mom and also first experience to my dad. So they were scared because the pregnancy has stayed overdue. So when my mom came to my uncle for help, for a solution, because it's more experience than him. Then my uncle was serving one oracle called Idigu, oracle god of iron. It depends on that Idigu, the oracle god of iron. He now made the oracle because my mom, according to my uncle, that my mom color changed as if she has no blood anymore in her body. You know, as a point, as if she wants to give up. My uncle met the oracle and speak to the oracle. Oracle, since I've been serving you, you have never put me into shame. And I've been serving you fine. And today will not be the first time that shame will weigh me down. Idigu, you know that this woman is a wife of my younger brother, which means that the wife of my younger brother is as well my wife. And anything that belongs to me belongs to you, Idigu, the oracle of God of Iron. Please help me that this woman will have a safely delivery and that she will deliver fast because this is just the month of 11 months my mom has been carrying the pregnancy. And then he took her hand in the oracle and brought out water from Idigu, oracle of God of Iron. He brought out the water and gave my mom. As my mom drank the water, not quite long, my mom fell into labor. Before you know what happened, my mom delivered me. I standing here in Eboka. From that time henceforth, I begin to imagine a strange things about myself. Because why then when I'm in the school, you know, I beat people that are very far age of me. My senior, I was six, six, seven years then, but I beat big people. But because of that strange power in me, I have a very, very strong power. And because of that mark in me, that devilish mark, it do takes me to anywhere, you know, that I could meet around with the same devilish things. There was a festival around my father's house, and I now attended that festival. After the, you know, dancing and everything, they shared food and a drink. I ate. It was the old women there that shared the food and the drink. I ate. When I slept, when I came back home, when I slept, I find myself in another world entirely. And in that world, people there live upside down. 
they use head to walk while their leg is up, but the head is down. And whereby we were marching on top of people, they use people there as rug or carpet. Even where we sat as a, you know, as a new members, we were sitting on top of people, human beings lying down all over. That is human beings they use as rug over there. We all are having one one head, but the king has its head upside down. We all are upside down, but the king himself has its head. But everything that they were doing there was very, very strange to me or to, the, to us, the new people. So they were dancing, jubilating, and after everything, they begin to share human brain f- fresh blood to us. When they came to me to give me the blood, I resist. I was stubborn. They dealt with me. I was forced to take the blood. But immediately I took the blood, I began to understand the language they speak. Everything that they do there is no longer strange to, uh, to me anymore. And in Fisica, I am six, seven years then, but right in there, I am 40 years or 40 something years. And why inside that kingdom, there is nothing like old or small? Everybody is mature in that kingdom. So after they shared the blood to, uh, to us and I drank, then the king brought out a very, very big record book and began to call out the names of people over there in that language that I could understand then because of that blood I took. He began to call the whole name. There were 50 in number. So after he called that 50 people out, he would begin to call them five. He would call, first of all, call out five. He would send them, go to the highway to cause accident so that you can get fresh blood that I will use tonight. And the five people will disappear. And how we disappear is that we will gather our two hands we fix it like this and we disappear. So they call the second people, they call them out. They say, You, we are sending you to the school. Go to the school. Win souls for me. Bring students for me. Share things. Attract members. I want members from the school. The five of them left. The same way they do disappear. They called another people, the hospital. They now instructed, inside that five people, they instructed two people. They said, two people, your work is miscarriagement. Bring newborn baby to my kingdom that later they will come to me to ask of child. Then you, the remaining three people, go. Uh, bring the doctors, the nurses, the workers in that hospital so that I will initiate them and send them back to the hospital that they can win or initiate more people for me. And all these people are five, five, five. They do send them out. But whereby, when they called out another group, they called out ten group. They say this ten group, that you will go to the church. Church was the place that they sent the highest number of people. They say, you ten people, go to the church, cause confusion, win souls, the pastors, the ushers, the workers in the church, cause sleeping sickness, sleeping, a distraction, you know, those people, you know, bring souls to my kingdom so that I will initiate them and send them back to the church to win more people, to initiate more souls for me. And after everything, they left. The first assignment that was given to me was I was assigned to act as a beggar. But we were five. When they call we five out, they say me, I will go out, go and act as a beggar and initiate people, bring them to my kingdom. And I now move up. I went to the dressing room. 
Because when, if they assign you for anything, you must go to the dressing room to discuss on that the same mission they send you for. So when they send me to go and act as a beggar and initiate people, I, stand, I stood up, I went to the dressing room. When I get to the dressing room, they asked me, what is my mission? I told them, my mission is to initiate through begging. They said I should wait here. He's coming. He now entered in. He went and brought cloth. That cloth has only one eye. That cloth is crippled because the way you will appear on earth will determine the type of cloth they give you there. If they give you cloth that has one hand, two legs, when you wear the cloth, when you disappear, if you find yourself in the world, you will have one hand, two legs. If you are complete, if they give you cloth that is complete, but that have a very, very big tummy, maybe they sew it very big, when you see yourself in the world, you will be complete, but your belly will be very, very big, as if you have illness. They now send me. When I went there, because to any, I, it's any place I wish, that is where I will disappear. And where I will go is a place that I can meet that is very crowded. I will meet very large number of people. Rather in the bus stop, garage, park, anywhere that I can win or initiate people very well. So when I disappear and entered, when I, I, I came where I sat down as what they sent me for. You will see people walking. Anybody with a flame of fire around will never, will never ever have pity to give me money. The person will just pass. And the flame of fire means the real Christian. Not Christian with mouth. Mean the real Christian. And, but the real Christian... The real Christian will never, because in a Christian, you have a flame of fire controlling the spirit being in you. But when the flame of fire around you is not high, that is where you argue with the spirit being in you. When the spirit says, move out from here, you will bring your own suggestion, let me sit there for five minutes. And that five minutes will be the time that something critical will happen to you. That shows that you are not a Christian. So, but any time that anybody that does not have flame of fire pass around, he will feel sympathy. He will have sympathy where I am. He will come to give me money as a beggar. They will give me, I will collect. This is how we keep on going. Anybody that does not have flame of fire pass around, he will contribute to me, he will help me. He will he have pity where I am. And after everything, I will gather my two hands I'll put it on my private parts. I'll find myself in the kingdom. Because anything that one does, there is a, a satellite in the kingdom that shows every activities that you do. So when I get to the kingdom, I took the whole money that they gave to me. I gave it to the king. Immediately I gave it to the king. The king congratulated me. And my rank came up a bit as the first attempt. Then, and that money I gave to the king, the king will use it to welcome those people in the dream. When, them, when they welcome them in the dream, he will also initiate them the same way I was initiated the first day I entered. The second thing that they sent they send me, they sent me I should go and act as a barrel pusher. In that market, anybody I carry his luggages, eh, that, is not, that does not have that flame of fire, we want me to help him and carry his luggages, maybe to where he will enter a bus or a bike or whatever. It keep on happening like that. After everything, I will go back to my kingdom. Yeah. Why this, the third assignment was to the church. They called me out, said that you are going to go to church to seduce church members. That was my, the third one, and that looked a little bit high. That when I succeed in this, that increased my rank very well. They say you are going to seduce people in the church. I went to the dressing room. They asked me, 
what is my mission? I told them, my mission is to go and seduce in the church of God. They said, okay, I should wait here. They went and gave me a cloth that has a, a, a very, very strong perfume. Very, very strong perfume. And I wore it. And I gathered my two hands, put it on my private part. I entered the church. So I have been going, this is what I have been doing. I have been going to the whole churches in Nigeria. I have been going churches, different churches. That is just my mission. And that is what gives me more rank. And when I wear that cloth, if I'm inside the church, if you do not have that flame of fire, you will hear the smell of the perfume. And immediately you hear the uh, smell of the perfume, you must ask me one question or another. You might ask me, brother, please, uh, don't be offended, though. Please, what is your time? What is the time? I'll say, in the church. And I'll tell you, okay, the time is uh, maybe 2 o'clock or 12 o'clock. I have initiated you. I will still stay a bit. Someone, anybody that does not have that flame of fire around him, immediately you, receive, you must receive that, that smell of that perfume. You will ask me, hey, brother, please, uh, don't be offended. Uh, help me with your Bible. Let me use and jot, jot down a, a, a script. I say, okay, no problem. I will give you the Bible. Uh, Both shoe, you might ask me, hey, brother, please, don't be offended. Uh, uh, this shoe, I love it so much. Uh, can you tell me you know, where your body shall say, okay, uh, you know, where I buy, okay, give me your set. Let me give you the number of uh, the man I bought the shoe. This is how it keeps on going. Yeah, big, big churches because, you know, we, uh, the devil, then when I was in, uh, in the spiritual kingdom, we go for the best. That is why we go for the big, big churches. I don't go for all these churches that are not recognized. I like going for the big, big churches. That is where I can make, you know, make more, more rank. My rank will come up. I pay tithes, huge amounts of tithes. And that tithe, I win more, you know, I initiate people more. When I pay the tithes and my offering, very huge. Then after when I leave, whosoever, any usher that that tithe touches, anybody that counts, the pastor, whosoever in the church that have anything to do with that tithe, uh, must come to the kingdom, must be welcome, and will be initiated. But after the initiation, the king does not retain them in the kingdom. He will still send them back to the church to stay out as that the same pastor, to stay out as that the same usher, attending to people. But it will now stand as a key to get more, to win more people, to initiate more people in the church. That is why in the house of God today, you know, we, we use the pastors, the ushers, and other workers in the church to initiate members to our kingdom. This is how we keep on going. I keep on going here and there, here and there. But then, as all this thing was going on, I keep on doing, there is this sacrifice, that the same strange thing that keep on going on with me. That's Idigu, the god of iron. Anytime that things comes on me, that power comes on me, I feel grief, and I feel controlled immediately. My dad loved training pigeon. Pigeon, he has pigeon so much. I will just move to where he trained pigeon secretly. I will hold one. I will catch the pigeon. I will take the pigeon, go to any secret place, especially uh, any place that there is river. That is where, so that I can take my bath after the sacrifice. I will use that pigeon. I will use my hand and squeeze it. Immediately, I begin to turn the pigeon over my head just for that blood to gush on my head. Immediately that blood begins to pour me on my head, I will regain myself. I will, be, I will be okay. But if I did not do that immediately, I will, be, I will be acting stupidly, strange. I will not be myself. But immediately I use that uh, pigeon blood. It both fowl. I see both fowl. Pigeon, anything that comes near me that has blood, if I pick it immediately, I go after I will pull, when I get to the river, I will pull my clothes. I will use the blood around me. After, I will enter the river and swim. I will take baths. After, I become a normal person I used to be. I will be very fine. Sometimes my dad will see, you know, the feather of a fire all over or pigeon sometimes. Say, ah, what is uh, causing? Ah, is, uh, what is happening with my uh, uh, pigeon? 
uh, I will see the feather all over. I'll say it might be cats. Uh, maybe cats came to attack or take any of the distance. Just, we just take it that it's cats. But he did not know really that I am the one doing all those things. So one day, one strange thing, another strange thing happened to me. As that odd came on me, I went and picked up catch fowl. I took it to the river as I normally do the sacrifice. I squeezed the head. I began to use the blood on my head. As I was doing it, doing it, I regained myself. I was okay. And I entered inside the river as I normally, eh, 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 as I do all the time. And only I entered, I saw someone on top of a river. Very beautiful lady. Very, very beautiful. And why when I saw that beautiful lady, I myself, I was inside that river. My waist is inside the river. Why? From my waist up, is outside, outside the river. And that beautiful lady also that I saw there, her waist is inside the river. Why? From her waist up, is outside the river. I begin to experience something automatically there. My manhood gets erected immediately. And immediately it gets erected, I discharged, I released inside the water immediately. And immediately that thing happened to me. It seemed as if water, water entered through my nose. From there, I was struggling, I was not myself, the thing entered to my brain. It seems as if I fainted inside the water. So when I stayed a little bit, I realized I'm inside water. I jumped out from the water. Hi, I was confused. And I'll find a place near the river to lie down. I begin to, you know, I slept a bit to rest. And I'll dream again. Beautiful, you know, that the same person I saw on top of the water, you know, in love with me. That is how I begin to experience uh, that uh, 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 queen of the coast, queen of all queens. That is how that came to possess me. Again, apart from Idi the oracle, the uh, god of iron. Now, because of my rank become higher, I don't like staying inside the house anymore or around the house. I love climbing on top of tree, the tallest tree near our compound. I will climb, I will be on top. If I just get to the top, that is where I will sleep. If I sleep, I will be in our kingdom. I will be there playing, you know, catching fun, eat food, very good food. And after everything again, I will come down. But one certain time, my dad discovered that. And any time he see that, he will flog me. Because since when I was born, my dad doesn't flog me with cane. He used electric wire, very big one. Because uh, he knows that I'm very, very strong. But that is what he used in flogging me, my dad. So, and when that thing keep on happening, my dad keep persuading, he took me to church. Oh, do this, do this. The kingdom became so grief, and they attacked my father. They said, okay, since you want to stand, I what? You don't want to allow your son to serve us. Your business will not prosper anymore. They tackled my father. The condition, the way my father is today, is at the result of what I cost him. My father is into electrical, is able to take telecommunication into telecommunication. But because of this now, uh, no more anything of, uh, you know, call, you know, for equipment, radio message, and so, everything ceased. Everything ceased that, that time. But if I'm in the house, we find it difficult to eat. But if I'm in the world, if I'm out, I will be hungry. I will manage the corn, the fry, I will eat, the purple, uh, on right purple, I will manage it. But if I'm hungry, I will go to the kingdom. I will go and eat very nice food there. Anytime that I am broke, if I don't have money, if I'm cobbleless, that grief will come in me. I will be very, very aggressive. I will come out, both in the bank, on the road. If I look at you, if you are shining, if you are shining seriously, I will know, yes, you are with my money. I will walk to you. I will touch you. I say, give me my money. And you will take the money in that nylon. You will give me immediately. I will say, yeah, go. You will move. I, I don't walk. I don't do anything for living. But I live flamboyantly. I buy a car today. Uh, before two weeks, I sell it. I live flamboyantly. And I win so by spending for people. Spending. That's how I win so. Initiates people. If I spend for you, give you money, that's your money. Every, that is how I initiate people. That is my duty. 
churches around, paying tithes, helping people, doing winning soul all over Nigeria. Just for what? For what? For me to be what? The king of all, all over Nigeria. That is why I do that. I have initiated millions of people. You will see them handcuffed. I have killed people with my hand. I have the power I command human beings. If, if I need money now, if I meet you now, touch you, hey, give me my money. You give it to me. Even though you are inside the car, if I knock the car, Mr. Man, wind down, you wind down. Give me my money, you will take the lie long. But sometimes there is one strange thing. If I enter the bank, I might see you withdrawing money. Huge amounts of money to put it in nylon. But you will not shine. And you will not shine because there is that flame around you. I know that some people, not all people, just there are not many. If I see that flame around you, you will not shine. And because you do not shine, I know that it's not my money. That I might go and touch that person and I receive embarrassment. But when I see that you start shining, both you or your cow, I know it's my money. I will walk straight to you inside the bank. I will touch you, Mr. Man. Give me my money and you give me my money. I will hold it. I will say you can go out. You go out. Then I will walk out majestically from the bank. Let's just go straight to how many of you came here? How I managed to come to Synagogue Church of All Nations. I went to my father's house one day. I was watching the telly because my dad loved watching Emmanuel TV all the time. So as I was watching it, that thing came on me. Ha! Ah, you know, I have gone around the whole churches in Nigeria. Eh? It remained TV Joshua. Try TV Joshua. When you meet TV Joshua, eh? because how I used to know the glory eh, that is upon the man of God is that when I enter the church, you the pastor, when I look at you, if I see your bold hair, I will know that your power, my power is more than you. If I hold you, come out for deliverance, you pray everything, I will shout, Amen. Gee, thank you, Father. Holy Ghost for everything. But I will not feel anything. Because you will lay your hand on me, I will not feel anything. But since I have gone around, I have, win, I have initiated people, only remaining in this synagogue, Church of All Nations. So I now say, okay, this synagogue, Church of All Nations, this is where I will come so that I will defeat the pastor and I will be praised all over, all over the world. And now enter that because I don't stay one state. Today I might go to this church. If I'm done with the church, I go to this church. If I'm done, this is how I keep on going to the whole churches in Nigeria. So one good Sunday, I came into this church where I was sitting in the other hall at the back. I was there. They announced, uh, uh, any member that needs the anointing water should go outside, that the usher will direct you where you will get it, the tape and everything. I said, okay, I'm interested because I was very, very bold that I will subdue any power, anything they call it, I will subdue it, that I will be praised, I will be magnified. I know, yes, I'm on top of the world. I rushed out. I get those anointing water. I came into the church. I sat down. Not quite long. I begin to experience strange things about myself. Constant urination started. I will go out. I will urinate. I will still come back. I will sit down. This keep on going on, going on, till they marched us inside for the second service. But I was not still discouraged because I came for T.B. Joshua. Just to, if I can see his bar hair, then I will subdue him the way I have been doing to the whole church. So when I came into the big church, I was inside. But that urination keep on going, coming. If I urinate. So I wanted to go out. The ushers on the door said, no, don't go anywhere that. Uh, they are praying. Then after the uh, prayer, you can go anywhere you want to pray. I said, no problem. So I saw people going about, uh, you know, the wise men going about. Ah, uh, people falling. I said, ah, look at you. They have started though. But I did not concentrate in that because I was watching if I would see T.B. Joshua. 
because it's because of him I came. The prayer was going on. They were delivering people. People were falling, turning up and down everywhere. Stop because in the church, if I enter the church, all I see anybody that is afflicted, you will be upside down. That is how you know the initiated ones. So they were praying, but I did feel less concerned. So as I was later, I sat down. Someone came and touched me. I said, stand up, please, brother, that they have not prayed for this line. Please, don't be offended. And I stood up with boldness. Before I know, the wise man, Daniel, came at my foot immediately, lay his hand on my forehead. Immediately lay his hand. I begin to receive as thousand slaps. When my wise man Daniel came to me, he laid his hand. Before he laid his hand on me, he laughed. He said, who is this uh, lady near me? He laughed. He laid his hand on me. I received thousand slaps instantly. I hit his hand off. He laughed. He left me. He, was, he began to pray for that. Small time he came back again. He laid down the same hand on me. I received that the same slap. I know, God, that something is really wrong with me. I became more grieved. Very, very grieved. Very, very grieved. He came very well on me. He said, Oh, yeah, follow me. I should follow him. I began to follow him. But I was not myself. He now brought out his hand. He said, I should shake him. I wanted to shake him. But his hand, I did not see hand. I, he was only showing me his hand, that's a flame of fire. Just only flame of fire. He forced me, I did not, I refused to uh, shake him. He persisted. When he started praying on me, praying, I, I turned. I, the, I became more aggressive. Immediately I turned, I saw the cameraman was videoing me. I said, oh, this is the same way I watched people get delivered on Emmanuel TV. So is it why this man, this video camera, want to also video me that I that want to be exalted, want to be the king, they want to be on top of the whole world now to be videoed? No. I was aggressive and I began to pour my venue on top of to, uh, to the cameraman to blind his eye. That was, I wanted to blind his eye. So immediately I want to. It seems that if anything I have in mind, that wise man Daniel will, will, will hear it immediately. He went to the cameraman, he laid his hand on the cameraman and began to pray for the cameraman. For a wise man to abandon the member, I now went to the cameraman and started praying for the cameraman. <laughs> and this is, this is the thing he never said out. He was meditating the, that I would do this so inside him. But before he could throw that saliva, the wise man went to pray for the cameraman. So immediately he prayed for the cameraman. That the same flame that was on him, the wise man Daniel, came upon the cameraman. Seriously. So I could not do anything again. I watched the video camera was there. I stood up. I said, okay, since... He, he, he prayed for the uh, uh, cameraman. If I can uh, uh, use my venue to, uh, uh, to close the front, the screen of that uh, video camera, if I would just use my venom to split on just to cover it. I wanted to do it. He commanded me. He commanded me. He started commanded me. I became confused. I said, I became confused because anything I have in mind, immediately he will be aware of it. He began to call fire. That was how I started. I, the thing began to burn me. Everywhere was hot. The whole place was not conducive. My cloth everywhere. It was not okay for me. I began to add. So the only thing that I said, God, how will I that? You know, the only thing I was trying to, you know, to blind the whole people around me, the, uh, the people snapping me, everybody that is there. I want to blind their eye. But uh, the wise man, Daniel, refused. Pouring the fire of God, praying, praying, praying. This keep on going on, going on, going on. I was not myself again. 
I know I am misbehaving, but I cannot control myself. I cannot control myself. Everything I try to regain my power back, if I stood up, when you see me, if I stood up, I stood up as I reinforced myself. But that fire again, I will not be myself. I will fall down. This is how this thing keep on happening, happening, happening. Say suddenly, you know, I, I, where I sat down in the front, he began to say, a, a, a fire, fire, a, a fence of war. As he was saying that thing, the fire became so much. Where I sat down, if I want to react, it seems as if my body wants to touch a, a wall around me, which is a, 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 a flame of fire. That is how that wall was around me. If I want to move, that thing could not allow me. I now sat down that place. I, respect my, I respected myself so that the fire will not burn me more than the way it's tormenting me. For me not to touch that wall of flame of fire. Mr. Eni's father comes forward to share his experience. He explains how the idol his forefathers worshipped possessed his son. The strange behavior he started noticing in his son rise from a young age and how the evil spirit tormented the family. My name is Anthony Eboka. I'm a father to the boy. What I want to say to the whole world is that I notice that human race is in trouble. If my son can be in this mood, I'm a disciplined father to the core. And uh, it's my son when he was when he was young. Honestly, I suffer so much in the life of this boy. I have them here. At that time, honestly, I'm into telecommunication, but to eat is a problem. I, the attitude of my children, I notice it. If you see them, they are very humble. If you want to receive something for they will go down with two hands, but if you see them in my house, they are just like lion. Nobody, this boy, if you are 10 fighting, you are wasting, he will beat you all of you. He will beat all of you. The last case I had, they were even saying it at the end, police were ashamed. They say he came to disarm them. And look at the junior ones. Look at the girl. The girl is next to him. Honestly, I suffered. I must be frank with you. That's a time a man near him, uh, maybe to chase out. Uh, he beat the man, used bottle and remove one of his teeth. It's not even up to this, uh, this stage then. I took the, child, to the man to hospital and uh, put another artificial teeth. The junior ones, you don't see somebody to come to my house to play with them. You can't play with them. Then I discovered that our origin is from Benin. I'm from Delta. Our origin is from Benin. And uh, the, the time I came out is called Ancholona in the Eta state. Why the village inside that Olona is Ishebe? I trace from Benin, they call Ishebe a village, but that means lion head. And they say this they use in going to war. Like my village in Olona, Ihebe, it's a very stubborn village. You don't dare near them. If it is fight, their fight is always deadly. Then this thing is saying, Idigo is an idol worship by my by the as uh, by the forefathers. My elder brother came up out of ignorance. He started worshiping it. Like we were all involved. We don't know what it means. When I the mother came to me, I was to marry her. Before then, he gave birth to this to two of them. These two first. Then when she was pregnant. And this, for this boy, I sent them to Onsoka, Enugu State, a town in Enugu State, because I don't have experience in this. Getting there, my brother gave the mother water to drink, and the mother took the water. And this boy was born to the family. Then, since this boy was born, honestly, I've never experienced peace in my life. Like he said, the father suffered. That is the truth. Even my relations... Abandon me. This sickness to you. At times I will carry him by shoulder, going everywhere alone. I said, what is all these things? But parents should be careful on their children. 
Anytime he comes to me, but before coming to this place, he came to me about two months ago. Then we were together. He stayed with me for one month. Glory be to God for Emmanuel TV. Then he was watching the, this. And he, did, he didn't come with any wears. He, he put on my own. He picked one of my own wear. If he wear it, I will refuse to wear it again. Anything he do, I refuse to. So, I don't collect it. I don't eat his money. He has the money. I don't see with a million bucks before. He, but if, even if he buy bread and come, I won't eat it. And I'm in good time with him. But the spirit in me rejected it. One day, there's one of my neighbor there. He came and saw what was happening. Now, he suspected. He said, why is it that he doesn't eat his, uh, when his child wears his cloth? He doesn't wear it back. I said, until they wash it there, or I will provide it. At times, I don't wear the bonnet. Until when this man saw what happened in the, on the TV, he shouted, say, wow, that is spiritual. So you see why I'm saying to parents that uh, many men, many parents die out of ignorance. Honestly. I, if not the grace of God in my life, look at what happened with people who are spiritual. Look at what happened. Look at the battle fought with the spiritual men. Talk place of me who is in the nursery school in the spirit. I, I thank God today. So when he came, because he watched TV Joshua 24 hours in my house, so he got convinced. So I was coming back from church on Sunday. They called me daddy. I mean, a TV Joshua player. I said, glory be to God. We came back to home. We then we took to the channel. The sister, the brother saw, they saw him. They said, look at him. He looked at brother, look at brother. I said, glory be to God. When the battle was going on, later they could, I was praying. God, take control. God, take control. God, take control. The next day, he called me that, daddy, I'm no more there. I said, where are you? He said, I'm outside. I want to deal with TV Joshua. He called me again. I said, where are you going to go? Now, he said, no, let me go and prepare myself first. I said, good. So, at the end, I glory be to God for this ministry. I thank God that this boy delivered. Mr. Eni's uncle comes forward. He was the one that worshipped the god of iron that possessed Mr. Eni after his mysterious birth. Let's hear from him. My name is Martin Eboka. I'm from Delta State, on a chore order in Anyocha, local government. I based that in Sukame Builder. I'm the one serving the idol called call Idigu, but I enter inside out of ignorance. Because my people say that uh, nobody is serving it again, but they say it's for protection. If I carry on, it's for protection. And you know, I'm a builder. I said, okay, I, will do, I will do the tradition. I do the tradition, carry it up. So I've been serving the thing anyway, as they serve it. But after a certain time, this my junior brother brought the wife to me, has a problem of the living baby. After 11 months, the, the, the color started to change. I said, okay, I'm serving this thing. Let me go to uh, the, the idol. Let me go to the seers to ask them what's happening. I went there. The man said, I, I have an idol called Idiu. I should use water. Wash it just like stone. Wash it one tumbler. If I wash it one tumbler, I will give the woman to drink. So if you drink um, that day, he will, he will start to labor and they were born. I said, okay. It was on Sunday. I went and called the woman. He said, he will drink. I said, okay. Because the, 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 the delivery don't pass in 11 months. He said, he will drink. I said, okay. I washed the water. I gave to her. That day, I had a meeting. I moved to my meeting in the afternoon. Come back around the 7. My, my wife is not in the house. He said, he said, they went to the hospital. I said, okay. Around 10 o'clock, somebody comes in. My brother's wife has delivered a baby boy. Oh, I say, thank God. It's same day. So I continue worshiping this thing. But later on, nothing goes for me. I said, okay, I'm watching this thing for better. Nothing moves. My wife said, stop. It doesn't sell again. My job, no way. My children promise and fail. No, none of my daughter has married. And I myself, I turn to become a drunkard. 
So I don't know what I'm doing again. I've been planning to come to TV Joshua to know what is happening in my life. But I thank God when my uh, brother sent this message that he, 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 our son is there, that I should come there, they asked us to come. I was so happy. That's why I fight and borrow money to come here because to feed this talk of war. So now, I, when I'm, what I'm begging him, say, I need my deliverance, so I beg. <laughs> I don't destroy the house of that Idigu, throw it away inside the water. But, but since then, I don't see any spirit to tell you the fact. But the spirit I'm seeing is things are hard for me. As I'm here, man of God, deliver me. Oh. Mr. Martins explained that although he threw the idols away physically, he and his family were still being tormented by the evil spirit. The idol made him a drunkard, and all his children were experiencing disappointments. This goes to show that there is not enough physical strength to stop Satan. There is not enough mental strength to stop Satan. Satan can only be stopped by the strength of the Lord. Children of God all over the world, I thank God. I'm very, very happy. Today is my most happiest day. <laughs> Ever since my deliverance, I'm now a man that God made me to be. Very happy. Before I don't dream, but now I dream. Everything I sleep well, I read the scripture, I pray. I'm very, very, those things about heatness or whatever, I don't feel anything again. And I want to use this opportunity to beg Nigerian. I don't see Idigo anymore. The uh, queen of queen, queen of the coast, I don't see anything of that nature anymore. Begging the whole Nigerian Ghana that I have offended by commanding them to give me their money. I am begging you in the name of God, forgive me. What I saw was not what I expected. At a point, I begin to even beg to leave the church. I was not even saying to see the TV Joshua again because the fire was much. It's only, it was even the wise man, Daniel, that was dealing with me like this. Later after the delivery, I was saying within myself, if that is TV Joshua, that maybe I might fire my burn me inside the church. <laughs> so please, I want to use this opportunity to beg TV Joshua for going to station... There are two stations to go and make my reports for arresting or whatever. Please, I'm very, very sorry for that. Forgive me. People of God, help me to rejoice as I have win, initiated millions of souls for devil. I will serve God, win soul, win billions of soul for God all over the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Awesome God. Awesome God. Oh my. Mr. Eni has been delivered from the evil spirit that possessed him for so long. Unclean spirits cause us to lose control and commit all shameful acts. However, glory be to God, Mr. Eni has been set free from the hands of darkness, a deliverance that extends to the whole family. Now, the chain Satan used to connect their entire family to himself has been broken in Jesus' name. Viewers around the world, let Mr. Eni's experience be a lesson to all of us that demons are real. Therefore, Christianity is not to be practiced as a hobby, for there are dangers in it. Let the confession of your lips have your heart's full agreement as a Christian. What a danger is a religion of words with no corresponding action.
If you know they hear, if you know they see, look at hands and pray yourself. Oh, now, my maker, they get. 